Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Cancers, you are up. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a Cancer cusp baby, I'm including you in this reading as well, or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has Cancer in their chart, of course, there's going to be messages in this video for you too, or if Cancer's North Node, I'm including you in this reading as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have cancer in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign. And I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love readings. If you are a cusp baby, I'm including you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you were born between two zodiacs, you're trying to harness both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you are a cusp baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you are just a regular cancer when it comes to your sun sign. So Gemini slash cancers, June the 17th to June the 23rd. Gemini slash cancer, cancers. June the 17th to June the 23rd, and then Cancer slash Leos, July the 19th to July the 25th, Cancer slash Leos, July the 19th to July the 25th, okay? Uh, north node, I'm including you in my readings because your north node represents your past life karma and the karma that's in this lifetime, so it represents both. Uh, so since 2019 and 2020 is about finding out, you know, where you are as far as on your karma, good karma, bad karma, people getting their karma, um, you know, healing from certain things from certain past lives uh, that you had karma in other lifetimes as well. Waking up and standing up and remembering who you are causes you to go through a lot of um, releasing certain, like I said, karma from other lifetimes, karma in this lifetime. And since 2020 is the decade of uh, Aquarius, this uh, which is the, you know, star card and toward it's about renewals. It's about peace. It's about you realizing your self-worth, finding your sense of peace, your spiritual gifts activating because you have DNA activations that's going on as far as your bloodlines and so on. So, um, if you're getting pushed to do any type of healing, make sure you do that. Cancers, heal yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Try the best as you can to detach yourself from certain things that keep you at lower vibrations um, as far as when it comes to your energy. Uh, making sure that you're keeping, you know, the people that's in your environment um the ones that have a lower frequency than you, not causing and allowing you to um, you know, bring down your frequency or delay you or cause or bring any type of tower moments in your life. So it's more important right now for you to focus on yourself. It is Pisces season, which is also, a, you know, a soul sister, um, you know, with, with y'all being, you know, water as far as your elements, your emotions being sensitive more in your dark side as far as when it comes to the moon card, um, your shadow self, you know, using your intuition, you know, dealing with illusions and so on. 
So just imagine all of how the energy is as far as when it comes to the energy that we're harnessing and we're able to tap into. And then we also have Mercury retrograde on top of that. And Mercury retrograde started on February the 16th and it ends on March the 9th. And you know, it's two, two weeks in order to get that energy out of your environment. Uh, so they want you to typically use your, you know, your fire and air, um, uh, elements that's in your uh, birth chart to cause you to re re rebel, cause other people to do rebellious things, to cause, you know, tower moments, bring delays into your life, and also bring, you know, past people that's from your past exes and, and so on. So you have a lot of different things that's going on with you as far as when it comes to the energy and where we are now, especially it's the beginning of the year. A lot of people have been working on themselves and doing the things that they need to do to keep their vibrations high. So, you know, the elite, the people that have been controlling life are doing certain things to bring down people's frequency so they can't tap into that abundance or, you know, delay their purpose in some type of shape or form, okay? So I'm here to help you. I'm here to shift you. I do also have music in the background, if you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my readings. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the timestamp, um, to go directly to the beginning of the reading. Um, if you don't want to hear me talk or if you have, uh, you know, delays as far as when it comes to your time and you need to get right to the reading, you can go directly to the timestamp for that. Um, moving forward, if you say that I talk too much, I will block you. Um, and you will not be able to come back on my channel. Um, also, again, like I said, I have music in the background. Claire Audiency is very uh, significant to us in the year of 2000, especially when it comes to Twin Flames, Twin Rays, Divine Partners, Life Partners, because it's part of the telep telepathic as well as um, uh, telepathic communications that you have with your uh, masculine, your feminine. Uh, also, tones, sounds are very significant regardless of what race or what species you are. You're able to pull messages, uh, get DNA activations, get certain synchronicities to help you with whatever journey that you're in. Um, and then also uh, unlocking, you know, your, your, your blueprint and so on. So that's the reason why the entertainment is so, you know, um, uh, controlled uh, because they know exactly how symbols and letters and, and all that takes an effect when it comes to a person's genetics, their blueprint. And that's one reason why a lot of things were created um, for a good advantage and then also for a bad. So if you haven't watched my bloodline activations, uh, Mercury retrograde and numbers and letters uh, video, make sure you go watch that cancers. It's going to help you, especially if you know that you're going through DNA activations, if you're getting pushed to, to, to learn about any of those things that I talk about in that video um, make sure you take part of your studying and make sure you, you know, don't deny the, the signs and synchronicities that your higher self, your ancestors in the universe is giving you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. The main deck, we're going to shuffle and cut them on camera. The other decks have already been shuffled in your energy cancers. We're going to go ahead and cut them on camera. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, um, I like I said, they're available on my Amazon store. If they're available for you to purchase on Amazon, again, the description box of the name, the person that makes the cards, you can always use Google to look for them that way as well. If you're into energy healing, stones, crystals, things like that for your enlightenment. I also have that available to you on my Amazon store. If you don't have a store that's available to you, um, where you can go in and get certain things for yourself. Birth charts, cafe astrology link listed in the description box. If you want to know how to get to the description box, there's a triangle at the bottom, at the, after like the, um, title of the video and you can push on that triangle and it will pop up the description box information of the videos let's see okay so again this is going to be for cancer sun moon and rising venus as well as mercury cancer's cusp babies um north node guided to this channel and you don't have cancer in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart are cross watchers that's dealing with somebody that has cancer in their chart oh shoot well dang cancers 
those popped out. <laughs> we have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Sun card being reversed, and the Queen of Wands being reversed. So let's see if any of these cards come back. But those were the four. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, whatever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it as part of your energy. Your stuff does not want to stay up. <laughs> okay, we have the hangman. So this represents energy as far as water. So it represents Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Um, this represents energy as far as waiting. It represents energy as far as, you know, willing to sacrifice yourself as well as accepting destiny for what destiny is. So some of you cancers could be, you know, um, you know, let's say if you are on a journey or if you if this has to do with your love life, the situation between your masculine, and your feminine, um, some of y'all could be accepting, you know, um, the journey for what it is. This also represents seeing a new perspective. So I do feel that somebody is seeing a new perspective in, in a certain situation. And like I said, it could be a new perspective with yourself. It could be new perspective as far as the way that you view life. Um, or like I said, this could be a journey as far as when it comes to your masculine, your feminine. Uh, this also represents energy as far as surrendering. So a lot of y'all are surrendering, uh, letting go, you know, the old you, allowing this new transformation to, to, to take part. This also represents energy as far as procrastination. So some of y'all could be feeling like, you know, the person that you're dealing with is procrastinating or cancer, they could be feeling like you are procrastinating. But I don't see this in a negative way because it's not reverse because let's say if somebody is going through a spiritual awakening they are getting some type of you know healing themselves mentally physically as well as emotionally are getting some type of hidden knowledge let's say if they're getting signs synchronicities and things like that they're going to be at a standstill so it's going to be like you're feeling seeing that feeling like that person is procrastinating but at the same time they could be getting knowledge they'd be getting information that they need in order for them to make a right decision so like i was saying this person could be seeing new perspectives if this is you cancers you could be seeing new perspectives some of y'all could be getting ready to make a decision if this is you going through a transformation let's say if you are healing yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally you are in that cocoon you're doing you know you're doing the things that you're needing to do you're you're taking on new information you're you know taking on new um if you're surrendering just think about what what surrendering energy is you're letting go of certain situations this also represents energy as far as waiting mode so waiting for somebody to take action waiting for somebody to make a decision okay Okay, we have the tower card being reversed. We have the world card being upright. We have the nine of wands being upright. We have the five of pinnacles being um, upright. That card came out in my Taurus reading. And then, wow, this came out in my Taurus reading as well. So the page of swords being reversed. Both of these cards came out in the same position and it was in my Taurus reading that I was just doing. So if any of y'all are dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart or again, um, you have Taurus in your chart, Cancers, which or uh, or if the title just resonates with you, make sure you watch that video because again, we all have the availability to harness different type of zo uh, zodiac energy uh, as far as um, the elements and, and the, the zodiacs and how, what each of them characteristics they they bring and so on so um if the title resonates watch it but the page of swords was reversed uh in the Taurus. i mean was upright in the Taurus reading in this reading it's reversed so the page of swords so this represents energy as far as uh aquarius libra as well as gemini it also represents energy as far as somebody being rebellious okay so like let's say if some of y'all were dealing with somebody this could also represent drama okay 
having to deal with a, dr a situation that where there's a lot of drama that's involved, okay? Um, somebody acting immaturely, um, them rebelling, you know, this could be also harsh communication. There could be verbal, um, you know, back and forth arguments and it could be harsh. This person could have, you know, bad doesn't say that nice things is what I'm hearing. Um, this also represents energy as far as dealing insecure. So some of y'all could have been dealing with insecurities. It could have been insecurities as far as your childhood, your younger years is what I'm getting from this as well. Um, but I do feel that somebody's getting ready to cut, be cut off. And I feel that this was something that was very abrupt um, as far as with this tower card coming out, which is reversed, um, which is also a good energy as far as, you know, changing for the better. Uh, I also have my vibration on. So when that goes off, it's either alerting you, um, that you need to pay attention and rewind the, the video and catch the message that you missed. Or it's that you're taking, you're paying too much attention to me and they're using it as a distraction for me to distract you from giving you the message and then you catching the messages as well. So you'll figure out which side you are on on that. But it's going off for a reason because they're telling you to pay attention, okay, um, as far as what, it's, what I'm getting ready to say. So... If this is somebody that they were dealing with, and let's say if they did cancers, you put yourself in a third party situation or your masculine, your feminine did put you in a third party situation. This other person that they are dealing with, they're having a lot of fights and disagree disagreements right now. Um, as far as when it comes to between the relationship between you, this, you, them and that third party, there's also a lot of jealousy um, that's involved as far as when it comes to this. So I do feel that somebody's acting immature. There could be things that have, are being said about you cancers are being being said about your masculine your feminine um that are not true that's coming out you know from this karmic's mouth or the soulmate's mouth is what i'm hearing as well um there could be somebody that is gonna uh, let's say if it is a third party situation there could be a karmic that is reaching out um to you um and acting immaturely is what i'm getting from this as well but i do feel that there's a tower moment this was unexpected i do feel that this person feels that this change that they're getting ready to make is for the better some of y'all again are going through your reconnect reconstruction phase if you are again the hangman upright the tower reverse that's letting me know that you're purging you're purging a lot of y'all are waiting until the dust settles let's say if this is you cancers and you just broke up with somebody and you're going towards your masculine your feminine because i do feel that you feel that somebody else means the world to you and you're willing to go on that journey with the nine of wands this is what i'm getting from this somebody is surrendering so there's a lot of surrendering for you cancers cancers are a lot of surrendering for your masculine your feminine but i do feel that somebody's ending something um and it's a sudden shock it could be a sudden shock to you cancers or cross watchers it could be a sudden shock that this cancer ended something um but this represents the energy as far as um earth so this is let's go back to the tower the tower represents energy as far as fire so aries leo as well as sagittarius it also represents energy as far as scorpio so some of y'all could be ending it with an air sign or a fire sign or a scorpio or this could be an air sign or a fire sign that's coming back from your past that would put you in a third party situation is what i'm getting and um they're, they're ending that situation because like i said they see you as the world so with the world card coming out this represents energy as far as capricorn taurus as well as virgo this represents energy as far as a karmic completion so some of them are ending it with somebody that's very immature this person like i said could have been somebody that was trying to one up you cancers or try to one up your masculine or feminine or cross watchers you know this third party was trying to one up you when it came to this cancer or cancers if you were the one that put the uh, our cross watchers if you're the one that puts the cancer in a third party situation you know the person you were dealing with was uh, always wanting up the masculine and feminine some of them possibly could have also been a copycat like a copycat situation where they would uh mimic the the feminine or mimic um, the, the masculine in some type of way to cause confusion is what I'm getting from this too. But this represents energy as far as starting something new, okay? Feeling accomplished, feeling the success, success in a certain situation. This also represents fulfillment. So this person sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you again as their world. Um, they want to start a brand new beginning with you. You have the nine of wands coming out and this represents energy as far as surrendering. It also represents energy as far as somebody gaining the strength to move towards, you know, a, a certain direction. Okay. Taking on new challenges, being bold, being adventurous. Okay. 
But this also represents uh, power. So gaining your power, gaining your strength, it also represents energy as far as delays. So this person knows that they brought a lot of delays as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them, especially let's say if they were dealing with um, you know, third party situations, if you were not involved in a third party situation, this person was just very immature about the way that they did things. They were very re rebellious. They were more focused on themselves and not focused on you know, you cancers are focused on your masculine or your feminine. Um, okay, uh, is what I'm getting from this. Okay, you have the five of pinnacles coming out, and this represents energy as far as lack of worry. So, some of them were dealing with certain insecurities. Cancer, this could have been you battling certain insecurities. These insecurities could have been financial insecurities as far as when it comes to like your abundance. Uh, some of them know that, let's say, if they did invest in other situations, let's say with a karmic or a soulmate, and they there was financial stability that was involved in it, they could have lost some of their finances as far as when it comes to that as well. Um, this also represents energy as far as emotional crises. So going through the difficulties, going through the worries, feeling like you're not good enough, this also represents abandonment. So this person knows that they abandoned you um, uh, it, they left you feeling abandoned. They left you feeling worried. They left you feeling, you know, some of y'all possibly had gained health issues, dealt with health issues because of, you know, your anxiety, worrying so much when it comes to the your masculine, your feminine, and especially if you're in a twin flame, a twin ray or divine partner relationship, um, even life partner relationships, you can, you know, um, you know, have that feeling of feeling like, okay, this person is supposed to be with me, but they leave me feeling so left abandoned. They're not doing the things or putting in the same effort and the energy as as far as I do, um, that I am. And it causes you, and then they also go off and choosing other people. So that's also, you know, more in makes you feel insecure. So a lot of y'all were dealing with that, but this person knows that they were being irresponsible as far as when it comes to their actions. Okay. Let's see what this person is talking about some more. So you have the page, you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so some of them were, you know, being the player. Some of them were in and out. Some of them were unreliable. They know they were not being responsible. They were being very inconsistent when it came to you. Um, this represents energy as far as the player, in and out. So having multiple, you know, sex partners are dealing involved with another, you know, putting you in a third party situation. This person could have also had issues as far as control, being very egotistical, so letting their ego get to them, okay? And once they let their ego get to them, some of y'all walked away. Y'all went on your separate journeys, even though if it, you, even you, some of y'all went on your separate journeys when it came to your masculine, your feminine, um, because again, they were kept putting you in third party situations. They were not honoring their commitment. They were not being reliable. They would come in passionately, you know, but again, as soon as they came in passionately, it was the inconsistency as far as when it comes to their actions with the relationship between you and them, okay, is what I'm hearing. You have the seven of wands coming out, okay, and we just saw that, so, um, or was it the four of wands? I, I think it was the seven of wands. So, feeling guarded, um, rivalry, okay, this means competition um, as well. This also represents a gain. So, this person knows, let's say, them leaving this unhealthy situation is a gain because they know they see you as the world. Let's say if they're letting go of their bad ways of them being a knight of wands reverse. So, this also represents energy as far as Aries, Sagittarius, as well as Leo, um, them no longer being that player. Um, them seeing that them letting go of those, you know, characteristics about themselves, they're getting victory, um, from being with you. Some of them possibly have other people's opinions that's involved. Let's say if there is a karmic or soulmate, or if this is family and friends, there could be other opinions that's involved that's causing this person to be defensive or causing you to be defensive. Cancers is what I'm getting. You have the nine of pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody's letting go of their single life. So the nine of pentacles, when it's upright, this represents bachelor. It represents bachelorette energy. It also represents represents, you know, uh, abundance. Uh, let's say earlier I stated that this person could have had issues as far as when it comes to their stability, their finances, um, lost some type of structure as far as when it comes to their foundation is what I'm getting. But this person is no longer wanting to be that player. So don't want to be the player no more. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. So the nine of pentacles being reversed this also represents materialistic energy as well as theft so let's say if they were involved with somebody like say some of them were involved with certain karmics or certain people that was in their environment that was just mooching off of them you know seeing because let's say if they were the nine of pentacles typically that's somebody that has a good career they're you know 
they have a good lifestyle for themselves. So they could have been involved with somebody that was just there for the assets there too, okay? So I do feel that like earlier, I just, I stated that this person put time and money in a certain situation that would, didn't even pay off for them. So again, them letting go of this relationship is the best thing for them and they know it's the best decision for them, even if it's causing arguments, even if it's bringing, um, you know, a dif discomforting situation to their environment is what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, because this person knows they're not they're not up for it. They, this person is cutting out the bullshit. This is you, Cancers, cutting out the bullshit. This is you getting the information, the knowledge that you need in order for you to make the right decision. So this person is may knows exactly what it is that they're wanting. This this is, means also communication coming in. So when the Knight of Swords comes in out, this represents energy as far as you feeling like the knight in shining armor. It also represents energy as far as change. So going through the change, going through those, you know, healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. So again, it's going to produce that change. You had the hangman card coming out. So I, earlier I mentioned, you know, the cocoon phase, going through that transformation, you know, breaking from that cocoon and, and you know, going into that little, you know, your butterfly stage. So I feel that a lot of y'all have been growing. Um, a lot of y'all have been gaining the knowledge and gaining the information that you need in order for you to be, you know, sharp minded to making the right decisions. So this person is coming in. Um, they're coming in. <clears throat> you have the five of cups being reversed. So this represents energy as far as returning back to hope, recovering from a certain situation, accepting destiny for the way, accepting the past for, for, for the past. So this person again knows that they, um, they, they, they regret the decisions that they made. They're very disappointed with their actions. Um, now this person, like I've said, they return to a hope because they gain the information they realize. Let's say if they did have to let go of them being uncontent, the, them being the Knight of Wands being reversed or them being the Page of Swords being reversed and they had to cut out those characteristics about themselves, they're doing that, okay? And the reason why they're doing that is because, again, they have a lot of dis dis uh they have a lot of regret and disappointment within themselves, okay? Because they're really realizing their actions and, you know, that was involved as far as when it comes to the situation between you and them. The star card being reversed. So hope, losing hopelessness, uh, loss of friendship, loss of love. So this person, like I told you earlier, some of y'all separated from your masculine, your feminine, and that, you know, that basically brought in, um, a situation where you got detached from them and they got detached from you because you were, you know, in separation. This also represents energy as far as physical and mental illness. So if they are involved with somebody that's a karmic or soulmate, this person is physically, mentally ill. Um, that's another thing is that this more of a burden to you cancers or more of a burden to your masculine, your feminine to continue to keep their self involved with this person. And this person is somebody that really can copy or... Um, they really can copy with them being having an issue as far as a physical or mental issue. And it's more of mental issues is what I'm getting. But there could have been some physical, um, you know, things that was involved as far as when it comes to this karmic and soulmate. So let's say if there was, you know, an altercation where, you know, hands was put on each other. Um, it was verbal things that were said as well, as well as touching that was said as far as when it comes to this relationship between you and them, you and this person. This person could have also, you know, made threats of hurting themselves as well is what I'm getting or hurting you cancers or hurting the mas your masculine or your feminine is what I'm hearing. Um, this person is just letting go. They're like bad juju. I'm hearing this person is just bad juju. <laughs> Um, they're just bad juju and that's what I heard yeah ten of pentacles being reversed they're no longer wanting to be loyal to this person this person is not loyal to them um when you have the ten of pentacles being reversed this represents energy as far as insecurities it also represents loss so I feel that there is going to be an ending to a, rela a relationship this could be a home um there could be children that's involved as far as when it comes to this connection between um, this karmic or the third party and your masculine, your feminine are the third party. Well, if you are the cancer, put your masculine, your feminine in third party. You're the one that's arguing with your third party right now. And you're ending a relationship with this person is what I'm getting. And there could be, you know, other people that are putting their two cents in. But you're still going to make a decision for you. What's best for you is what I'm hearing. That went off for a reason.
So you have the dreamer. So this represents the full energy. So this represents Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Again, you have the star card, which represents Aquarius. Uh, the knight of swords was the uh, uh, Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. You have the nine of pentacles, which also represents energy as far as Virgo. Um, so the dreamer, uh, Ari, Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. So this represents new beginnings. It represents a star starting something new getting a fresh start being open-minded seeking a brand new direction and earlier i just said this person is going on their new journey with or without their family with or without you know um the karmic is what i'm hearing this person is going towards you know the person that they know that they were destined to be with is what i'm hearing it says embrace embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure trust yourself so embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, and trust yourself. Two of autumn, so two of pinnacles. So this represents making ends meet, juggling. Um, so this person knows that they were juggling a certain situation. This them juggling, you know, you and the third party. It was not allowing them to be balanced with themselves. Um, a lot of them, you know, are wanting to come back and bring this you know, balance the relationship um, because they know that they were not doing that in the past. Um, this also represents new opportunities. So there could be two different choices. Let's say if this is a career or a job, there could be two different choices that you have as far as when it comes to your financial stability. Cancers is what I'm hearing. But at the same time, I do feel that somebody knows that they were juggling um, and they were being, you know, unfair with them juggling you, Cancers, or you feel that you were being unfair when you were juggling your masculine, your feminine, or your, your masculine, your feminine, like I said, cross watchers, whichever or. Um, but it says bring fun in into everything you do juggling multiple priorities are a job and ex an exceptional talent for multitasking so being able to multitask so a lot of y'all are taking care of your home you're taking care of your work environment you're trying to take care of your your relationships with yourself relationship with you know your masculine your feminine your relationships with your family and friends so y'all could be you know juggling multiple different things and it's like you're mo you're, you're multitasking okay is what i'm hearing seven of summer so this represents the seven of water so this is illusions fantasies wearing the rose colored glasses having too many options having too many choices again juggling not ju choosing the right cup juggling the wrong things okay um it says no more procrastination your power comes from making a decision confusing confusion that arises from over analyzing the options so like i was saying not choosing the right cup um you know wearing your rose colored glasses um having too many choices that brings a lot of confusions confusion to your life cancers are your masculine and femi your feminine knows that they had too many choices and it brought a lot of confusions to their life as well as yours uh but again they're saying for you to use your power to make a decision okay you have healing family issues. So some of them had to heal family issues. Earlier I stated if they could have been y'all working on childhood issues from the past or your, you know, your teenhood um, uh, issues, dealing with that. Um, it says also dealing with, let's say if there is a, a soulmate that's involved and there is children that's involved because they brought, you know, children in this world with a soulmate and they're ending that situation because it's no longer serving them. Um, again, they have to heal certain family issues as well as uh, with their children and making sure that their children is taken care of. So it says your family life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of y'all had to forgive your parents. Again, things that that, you know, the relationship between you and them. Okay. It says, give your relationship a chance. So some of y'all are going to allow this person to come in a little. Some of y'all are going to be feeling guarded because this also represents energy as far as guarded, as far as the seven of wands. So it says, work on your partnership engagement. So this person knows that, that you are their world. This is moving to marriage. Um, your relationship is now ascending to another level. So it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. So some of y'all are going to get a proposal. Okay. Wow. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. This is a synchronicity for y'all cancers and whoever's watching this because I stated that with the hangman, the cocoon phase, 
going through that needed transformation, healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, um, going through that purge, realizing your self-worth. You have a 11 here. 11 represents twin flame, twin ray number. It also represents magician as well as alchemy energy. It ones represents new beginnings. Crow spirit. So it says co-create with spirit. So allowing your higher self, your soul or your spirit to assist you in whatever trials and tribulations that occur. Okay, not denying the signs and synchronicities that your higher self, your ancestors, your, the universe is giving you. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of crows. If you see a lot of crows, that lets you know that you're going through the dark night of the soul. Okay, and find that balance. Um, some of y'all could also be going through the phoenix rising um, phases as far as that too, because they also have traits of uh, the shadow side of yourself going through the dark night of the soul. So you have a 17 here, which is, represents an eight. Eight represents movement. Eagle spirit. So it says spirit has your back. So they always have a plan, okay? Spirit always has a plan. So it says an engagement, okay? So it says a 23 here, you have a five. Fives represents conflicts that brings change. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of birds, eagles, falcons, ravens, um, crows, buzzards, um, doves, um, cranes okay um owls that could be your spiritual totem at, um, animal that's showing okay that's arising it says cooperation so again they're going to be cooperating with you communication is going to be coming in okay strong communication is going to be coming in it says in your quest to manifest the energies of love you realize that every person and experience has value so every person and experience, all the experiences, the bad experiences, as well as the good experiences, they all have a sense of purpose, um, you know, as far as when it comes to your journey and who you are, okay? Expression. So this person is coming in and expressing themselves, truth being told, okay? So it says you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transformations. And, okay, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love so again expressing yourself speaking your truths being truthful okay being cutting with your words harmony okay being in harmony earlier i said the two of pinnacles represents energy as far as balancing yourself being in harmony okay um so it says you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. So filling the connections that you have with the birds, the animals, your spirit tribe, um, your masculine, your feminine, the people that's in your environment that is, you know, good for you. Um, filling, you know, the balance that you, that you have with them, the harmony that you have between the connection between you and them. Worry not. So no longer worrying. Again, this person is letting go of this worrying, wor this this situation that's been worrying them, that been holding, you know, holding this person back, holding them down, causing you know discomfort in their life. So this person is like, I'm walking away from that situation. They're no longer wanting to be stuck, and their guess what? Their ancestors, their higher self has their back on the choice that they make. Oh, I love the card, this card. I just love this card. Okay, worry not in her fro. It says release and surrender. So a lot of surrendering, a lot of releasing, a lot of letting go, a lot of detaching, a lot of removing yourself from whatever obstacles and, you know, uh, that are in your way. Trust your intuition. Following your intuition, this person is surrendering they're trusting their intuition. Again, if they have to go on the journey by themselves, they're doing it. Don't deny the signs and synchronicities that you, your higher self gives you. Cancers. Wisdom. Gaining that wisdom. Unicorns. Wow. For this card to come out. Yay. This is the first time this card has ever came out in a while. You know, in, in a regular reading. But just for it to come out when I have this unicorn background back here, it's just like awesome. Okay, so gaining your wisdom, gaining the comp your, your the knowledge, the information that you need in order for you to make a right decision, okay? 
A lot of y'all are very wise. Press persecution in in quotation. I, I I don't know how you say that word, but this is the pre, this is the um, spells, black magic. Um, certain things like that. Some of y'all could, let's say, if you are waking up and you are going through the dark night of the soul and you are realizing, let's say, if you were a witch or if you were a warlock in another past life, a lot of y'all could be waking up, showing, you know, seeing that you were, you know, um, persecuted um, for, you know, certain things that you took part of, certain, you know, things that you um, did as far as with you being a witch or a warlock. That could be something as that, but this also represents black magic. So let's say if they were involved, our cancers, you were involved with a karmic or a soulmate that was using spell work, black magic, or any of that things. Um, this person was not, um, you know, in tune with themselves. They were also, let's say, somebody did a copycat spell. I just heard that somebody did a copycat spell. <laughs> wow and this person got blue eyes I saw that I saw blue eyes that could be significant for somebody okay and it says mother so a lot of y'all had to heal situations let's say if it's family issues you're healing certain relationships with your mother some of y'all could have had a past life let's say if you have a situ okay i'm gonna say this cancers or cross watchers let's say if you had a painful situation with your parents your mother your father and it was a bad situation you know there was a lot of hurt that was involved as far as when it comes to your childhood you could have a mother that end up being a giver in this lifetime that could have been a enemy or could have been an old karmic or an old, you know, somebody that was meant to bring harm into your lifetime and this lifetime to cause you to not stand in your purpose. So I do feel a lot of y'all are realizing, like I said, you had um, a bad relationship with your mother or your father in another past life is what I'm hearing. And they're, you're there. That's the reason why you have so much, uh, pain in this lifetime with that your mother or your father but a lot of y'all mothers a lot of y'all had to heal situations with your mother okay is what i'm getting okay so hopefully this reading resonates with you cancers if it does resonate with you like my channel subscribe to my channel and i just want to say thank you and you have a great day